What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today we are checking out the Blitz Hanya RTA, so stay tuned. That is right, YouTube. Today we are checking out the Blitz Hanya RTA, and of course, we're gonna do some pros and cons first in this video, and then what we'll do is dive down and dirty, check it out up close. We'll do a quick build on it as well, and then we'll come back up top let you know my recommendations, and also as a bit of a bonus, I will also do a very, very quick comparison between the Blitz and the Griffin RTA to let you know which one I personally like better. But with that being said, let's get into the pros and cons. We'll start with the cons first and foremost. The first con, this is gonna be a subjective one, guys, is the drip dip. It is a proprietary drip dip, and unfortunately, it is part of the device itself. It does have plastic threading on it, which is a bit of a downside because if you messed it up, it can completely screw, your, screw up your RTA, which is never a good thing. So yes, the drip dip is a bit of a con. That being said, it's almost like it's, it's, it's a similar style to a chuff cap, but not quite there just yet. It's got a great amount of airflow coming from it. It's a great little tank, which also leads me to my next con, and this is again subjective. I personally prefer bigger, larger juice capacities, and I find that with this tank, it's about two and a half mil capacity, you are gonna be limited to refilling it a lot, especially if you're using as much as I have been. So with that being said, the con, the biggest con I think is the drip dip and the tank itself, as far as capacity goes. If you are interested in a smaller compact tank, this is definitely a great option. Like I said, it does have two and a half mils, but because it's so much like a dripper, and of course this is going to depend on your build, but with my build, I did a pretty powerful build on here, so it does suck down the juice pretty nicely. I'm gonna actually change it up in the uh, build section is I'm actually going to change out my build I had on it before in favor of a less juice consumption build Probably just like a five or six wrap 24 gauge campbell build very simple uh, But in the meantime, like I said, it is a bit of a juice guzzler just something to know as far as pros go the flavor in this thing is It's spot-on guys. It is very very close to a dripper style flavor on top of that you get great flavor You get great airflow from this. It's a little bit restrictive but it adds to the flavor in my opinion. If you don't like a restrictive draw, that might be a con for you, but for me, I love a little bit of a restriction on my draw, and this is bang on. As far as vapor production goes, like I said, it's, it depends on your build, guys. With any RTA, vapor production, and even flavor for the most part, is going to depend on your build. Um, you know, there's gonna be certain nuances to it that will add a little bit of flavor, or maybe a little bit of vapor, or a little bit of density even, like for example, less airflow, typically means a bit of a denser cloud, and with this, you're definitely getting that. On top of that, the overall design of this, it's a beautiful design, as you'll see in the up-close section. It's, it looks phenomenal, to be honest. I love the look of this. The way it looks in my DNA right now is just fantastic. I love the way it looks. A little black RTA with the black DNA, love it. Uh, apart from that, it's easy to fill. Uh, it's, it's not too bad. You do have that twist-off drip tip up here that just twists off, and you have two fill holes. Fill holes are a little bit smaller, but you get used to it pretty easily, so it's not too bad. Uh, if you are using a bigger juice container, like for example, this guy, one of these big spouts on here, you are gonna look to have a bit of a harder time with it. But if you're using a regular plastic bottle or even most drippers or droppers, you will be able to fill this up pretty easily. With that being said, I think that's pretty much covering it. So far, my experience with it is pretty good, but again, I'll let you know how it compares to the Griffin, which I think is the RTA to beat right now uh, at the end of this video. So with that being said, guys, let's get down and dirty with the Blitz Hanya RTA and check this bad boy out. All right, YouTube, we are down and dirty with the Hanya RTA by Blitz. Here's the packaging. As you can see, I've already removed the RTA itself. Included with this device is, of course, your Allen key, some extra grub nuts down here, and a bunch of spare O-rings, and there are a lot. But here you go, guys. That's what you get included. The packaging itself is very nice, magnetic, a little bit of a different style packaging. It does come in a box as well, which just looks like this. This is of course one we will be giving away, but there's a the box, there's your authenticity seal. Handy RT, this is a stainless steel one that will be given away to a lucky viewer. And stay tuned to the end of this video where I will announce the details for that. But in the meantime, there's a QR card if you wanna pause it and scan it, you're more than welcome to. But that is the packaging, so very simple packaging. Moving on to the RTA itself. First, we'll start with the top of this. Here is the tank component of this. I just washed it out, so it's a little bit dirty, guys. I do apologize. Like I said, I did have a build on there before that I've now taken off, so we can build on it again. But there you go. You can see the juice wells just along the side and also where the airflow is. 
There's your airflow where it's going to connect with the airflow control ring. And basically you have little holes in the bottom here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Little holes just in the bottom there and they actually drip down into the well itself. And then in the well there's more holes for wicking and that's kind of where it ends up leaking into or where it drips into. Here's your positive pin. Your negative pins are on the opposite sides. So your positive pin in this is this big one right here. Negatives are on both sides of it. Again, like I said before, there's your wicking holes. These are actually the screw holes for your grub nuts go in and where they grip onto the wire itself. Now this is a much different deck than what some people are used to. Uh, of course, there's a copper pin connection. Just wanna mention that really quickly, O-ring down there to prevent leaking. But anyways, getting back to my point, this is definitely a much different style deck or build deck than what most people are used to. If you are looking for a challenge though, it is a great option. So again, if you're looking for a challenge, this is a great option for you. And the reward is excellent because the flavor in this thing is fantastic. It is as close to a dripper in the form of an RTA that I've seen to date. Now to put this all together, let's put it together for you guys real quick. First thing that goes on is of course the airflow control ring. It goes on just like this. Put that on and there you go. You can see the little lightning bolt here is actually your airflow. In the Blitz logo, it's open, it's closed. Open, closed, bam, that easy. Next, you'll see a little lip here. What you want to do is connect the lip from the bottom of here right there into this lip right there. And all you do is push that in. These O-rings are very tight as well. There we go. So it just pops in there. Next, we get our bottom cap on here. This just screws on like so. This is to secure the airflow control ring on. And just like that, the tank is now together. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is the fill holes on here. They are a little bit smaller, guys. So if you don't have smaller bottles that you can use, it might be a bit of a pain trying to get in there. But apart from that, if you don't mind doing it, you can actually fill um, pretty easily from like a plastic bottle or most even dropper tips. The one thing that is a pain to fill with is something like this. So if you use these big bottles like I do, as you'll see, it's very difficult to get it in there. In fact, it doesn't actually fit as the O-ring comes out. And that's only because it's a little bit wet, guys. Sorry, I did wash it out before I th did this video. And uh, anyways, guys, there you go. Drip tip, like I said, is proprietary. So you are stuck with this drip tip and this drip tip alone. Also on the inside of the drip tip, I don't know if you can see that, but it is plastic threading rather than metal threading. So that could be a little bit of an issue if you're not careful when you screw it back on you could strip the plastic. And of course, when you strip plastic, it's done for. Uh, apart from that, the drip tip itself though is a great drip tip and I love the flavor you get from this. It's almost like a mini chuff cap style drip tip, which is something I love, especially in an RTA. That is awesome. And then apart from that, you can see here, you got the chimney in the middle, the logo, the Hanya logo right there. You can see there, kind of like the little demon thing right back on the chimney there. And apart from that, that's pretty much it. You see the bottom Blitz Enterprises Hanya. And again, that copper pin connection, like I mentioned. So that's the, pretty much the RTA. What we're gonna do now is take it apart. And then what I'll do is do a quick build on camera. I'll probably end up just fast forwarding it for you guys so it's not too long. And uh, once we're done building, we'll go back up top and I'll talk about which one I recommend. Uh, not just the Blitz, but also the Griffin. So which one gets the win, guys? Stay tuned to the end to find out.
All right, YouTube, that was the build on the Blitz Hanya RTA. And of course, up here, I also have the Griffin RTA as well. And I want to do a quick comparison at the end of this video, just to let you guys know which one I recommend. And my recommendation is going to be based off of your personal opinions on it. Which do you prefer? And the big difference between these two is the build decks. The Griffin RTA, if you haven't seen it yet, has a velocity style build deck. It is very easy to build on and very simple to do. The Blitz, however, is a little bit harder to build on. It does take a little bit more tweaking to get it right. But once you get it right, I do have to admit the reward is there. You're going to get great flavor. You're going to get dripper style flavor and vape production out of this if you want to. I have a pretty simple build as you saw, just six wraps, 24 gauge canthal. Very simple, roughly about a 0.25 ohm build. Nothing too hot or nothing too low, nothing too crazy. Just very simple to show you guys how to build on this thing. And basically, yeah, if you are looking for a challenge, the Blitz is going to be for you. If you want simplicity and just, I want to build and that's it, the Griffin might be a better option for you. The Griffin retails for $50 Canadian. Keep in mind, guys, that's Canadian. And the Blitz Handy RTA retails for $70 Canadian. Both of these, I think, if you're looking for either one of these options, are very well priced. You can pick up both of these at Digital Imports, which, again, I will have a link down to their Facebook page below. And of course, if you do want to win a Hanya RTA by Blitz, make sure to go like Digital Imports page and the contest rules are simple. First of all, you must be a subscriber of mine. Second, you must be legal age, of course. Third, you must leave a comment down below so I can do the random comment picker. And fourth, you must like the Digital Imports Facebook page. Now, I will check that if you do enter, you will have to be on that like list for the Digital Imports Facebook page. And I will be comparing the two between the comments and their Facebook page just to make sure that it has been liked. Uh, assuming you do like it, then you are qualified. If you did not like this Facebook page, then I will have to do a redraw. Unfortunately, that's kind of the warning there. Now, I know there's a lot of people asking about what if we don't have Facebook and things like that. And unfortunately, with this contest, this is a Facebook-oriented contest, and this is going to be the only way to win this as of this time. I, I will have future giveaways, of course, that don't require Facebook access, and uh, this is just the one that does. So there you go, guys. Which of these two do I recommend personally? Uh, I actually kind of like the Blitz better myself. The Griffin is a very close second. I mean, it all comes down to the build on it. So the build on Griffin I have is fantastic. Vapor production flavor is great. But the Blitz, on the other hand, I don't know what it is about this, but it feels more like a dripper style experience in an RTA. Uh, you do have to have a little bit more knowledge on building. Even I struggled a little bit, as you saw in the video clip below. Hopefully it wasn't going too fast when I fast forwarded through it. But basically, I mean, it's, it's a challenging build deck and I kind of like that. I'm a, to be honest, guys, I'm getting a little bit tired of the Velocity style deck. It's just, it's been used over and over again and it feels like everybody's using it and I just wish there was something different and the Blitz gave me that. That's why my pick is for the Blitz. I love them both. They're both great choices. If you have a Griffin, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have picked one of these Blitzes up already, then I'm sure you're pretty happy with it as well. But again, guys, if you don't want to take the chance, I will have the giveaway winners announced in about two weeks time and uh, we'll, we'll see who wins from there. But there you go, guys, that's my review. So both these, uh, this isn't really a review on the Griffin, but I wanted to compare the two, just to give you an, an idea of which one I recommend for who. And again, the Griffin, if you're interested in easier builds, the Griffin's for you. If you want more challenging builds that are gonna be a little bit more rewarding in the flavor category, I think the Blitz is the way to go. Anyways, guys, that's gonna end it here. Both these RTAs are great choices and I like them both. And again, if you do want to pick one up and you're in Calgary, go check out Digital Imports because I do have them both in stock as of this recording. But that does it for today, guys. Until next time, happy vaping, YouTube.